Hi, I'm Sapientia. This is a very introductory course for beginners. 4.4 Basic of ANOVA One way ANOVA fourth. Okay. Um, we know and uh, we have many times uh, talking about we need and we have to learn one way ANOVA when we have uh, this situation. We have three groups, likewise, we have a three college male students' height, and we want to compare the means average of uh, male students' height of three college. Mm -hmm. But, but, when we open the textbook, we first encountered like these complicated equations, right? Um, what is this? Uh, many students just give up at this point because they cannot understand what this is. But please don't give up. It simply looks difficult, but it is not. Um, sometimes I uh, just saying like that uh, scholars and uh, professors just want to keep dancing. Mm -hmm. But it is not difficult. Uh, the reason why they use this kind of uh, complicated equation is they want to generalize their data and uh, their equation, right? Let me see one by one. Uh, okay, first we are looking at the right hand, right side, uh, the first character. Uh, how how do you call uh? this character you know this is mu mu this is a greek uh, character is mu um, in statistics the mu means mean average right uh, why does the mean value exist here um, because the dependent variable is not perfectly 100% affected by only one independent variable is impossible, right? Uh, for instance, um, apple production quantity is a dependent variable. And we want to compare two groups such as a fertilizer land and non-fertilizer land. In this case, though we don't use fertilizer in one group, the apple production could not be zero because there is a natural average production quantity without fertilizer, right? So we uh, theoretically include the mu in this equation. But in ANOVA, in one way ANOVA, this value is not our concern, not our interest. Our interest is the second one, tau j. We call it tau j. Tau, oh, it's not good anyway, tau j. Uh -huh. Tau j. Uh, the tau it's also a Greek character anyway. The tau is an independent variable. This tau represents the independent variable here. And the small j, this small j, represent the group or level of independent variables. Uh, in prior video, we uh, checked the three examples of uh, examples of uh, the one in ANOVA and uh, uh, those in those examples the independent variable has uh, three or four groups or levels in the independent variable right so this J means the group right and uh, why the uh, left hand uh, left side of the the largest one is Y I J this is a dependent variable always always in statistics the left hand side of equal equals left side is always dependent variable 
you must remember always the left side of equal is dependent variable as I mentioned in ANOVA dependent variable should be a continuous variable right and the value of continuous dependent variable is the capital Y Y this is a dependent variable right and um, uh, the reason why we use a uh, describe like this is to write all values using one character we have uh, many observations of y and we have many observations of tau but the uh, scholars just want to describe the uh, multiple numbers into one character like this uh, this is very similar with the unknown uh, x in math uh -huh. so here what is the y i n j i n j what is this uh, the j is the same as in prior case it means the group or level of independent variable likewise here dependent variable sorry and uh, I means the ID in the same group okay so I will uh, show one example here this is the, the screenshot of the our uh, data as I said in prior video the payment method is a uh, independent variable and total charges is a dependent variable right mm -hmm. and I expanded the screenshot and then I want to show one by one for example okay this low is a variable name payment method this is an independent variable right okay here the tau this is a tau j oh no no this is not tau <laughs> jj tau j is uh, like this one tau j right here the j means sorry <clears throat> sorry uh, j means the group so here electronic check is j1 in this case we describe tau 1 mail check is j2 tau2 mail check is j2 tau2 same right and the bank transfer is j3 so tau3 electronic check is a j1 tau1 like this uh -huh. tau1 electronic check credit card is j4 so tau4 likewise all levels all groups of independent variable could be described as tau1, tau2, tau3, tau4 like this okay so any number or any group of independent variable could be described as tau j mm -hmm. well, let's check the dependent variable dependent variable is a total charges right here this number is oh, okay 29.85 but the main point is y i j and here the tau one is the this, this one means a j right this j and this j are same j so um the uh number uh 29.85 is the first observation of electronic check so this is one one y one one first observation of first group right okay the next one is mail check mail check is tau two so the second j is two right and this one this one maybe is the first observation of mail check so first number so id is number one and the group number is two one two likewise here the group number is two right so group number is two but this is a second second observation of 
group 2. So y22. This one is uh, group 3's first observation, so y13. This is the uh, second observation of our uh, first group, so y21. This is the third observation of first group, so y31. And this is the uh, first observation of fifth group, so it's y14. So yij could describe all kind of, all uh, types of dependent variable. Okay? It's so simple. And I think it is nothing. If you, uh, even though you don't know this numbering, you can analyze and you can interpret the result of one-way ANOVA. Mm -hmm. But, but, as I said, when you are first reading the textbook, don't be confused. Don't be confused. Never give up. Okay, last one. Let me check the last one. That is, uh, last one is uh, E. E. E-I-J. What is the E-I-J? Here, uh, the E, E means error. Error. And the I-J is the same in the Y-I-J. Okay? So, it's nothing. Here, the error, error means, means random error, random error. You know, understand the random error? Do you know? I will um, uh, explain later more about the random error anyway. But in this case, the error is randomly occurred and it is meaningless. That is important. This error is randomly occurred. So this error is meaningless. There is no meaning in this error. It is just random. Right? Uh, of course, if this error is not randomly occurred, it would be a big problem in statistics. But we assume this error is random, random, right? Okay. So now you uh, can you understand what this equation means? Here, if we move, if we move the mu, the average mean to the left side, this equation change like this. Mm -hmm. So don't be afraid when you read the textbook. This kind of equation is used for generalization. The scholars just want to describe all data in one equation. Ultimately, the meaning of above equation is that we would test the change of dependent variable here comes from the group of difference in the independent variable. So, this equation also means also means we want to check the effect of group difference of independent variable to dependent variable right but don't be afraid it's easy and nothing okay today we are done here so 4.4 basic of ANOVA one way ANOVA first See you next time.